Happy Tuesday. Hope you're able to stay cool with some of those record breaking temperatures that we saw across a lot of our area. I know Medford yesterday hit that high of 111, breaking a 90 year old record. And there were a handful of other spots like Roseburg, Mount Shasta as well that broke some records. And we're going to continue to see those hot temperatures today across a lot of our area. We also are going to see some thunderstorms in a handful of spots. We saw a few lightning strikes yesterday down in Siskiyou County. Probably going to see some in the Klamath Basin as well. And that's those storms are going to continue probably throughout the rest of the week in a handful of spots. But the good news is we're going to start to cool down a little bit going into the weekend and into next week, potentially down to around that seasonal average or even below average. But taking a look at our highs from yesterday, you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about. Even North Bend out on the coast ended up breaking a record at 79 degrees. Roseburg, Medford, Montague, Mount Shasta, all with those record breaking temperatures and with those hot temperatures does come that risk of wildfires. You can see that's going to continue today. We've got very hot temperatures, very dry conditions as well, getting down to around 15% humidity, not seeing much in the way of wind still in the single digits today. So we're probably not going to see any red flag conditions, at least in the Rogue Valley, but still going to be an increased risk for wildfires. Now taking a look at what we're dealing with tonight out on the coast, we are going to see some haze and some patchy smoke, a little bit of smoke from the flat fire, a lot of smoke from the bedrock fire as well, and temperatures a little bit above average, especially for the coast, even North Bend getting up into the 80s, and I'm expecting that haze and a little bit of patchy fog to be sticking around into tonight. And then as we get into the West Valleys, that's, we're gonna, that's where we're going to see those temperatures really pick up around or above 100 in a lot of spots. Happy Camp getting close to that 110 mark. We are going to see some haze and some patchy smoke, especially up north in places like Roseburg. And then tonight we could see some isolated storms, especially down south in Siskiyou County and maybe southern Jackson County as well. And then as we move east of the Cascades, we're going to see more hot temperatures, maybe not quite as hot as what we're seeing in the Rogue Valley, but we are going to see plenty of spots in the 90s. We are going to see some isolated storms as well, especially down south in places like Tule Lake and Alturas. And I'm expecting that to continue tonight as well as some patchy smoke, more concentrated up north in places like Schmolt, Christmas Valley, maybe Crater Lake as well. Then jumping into our day planner right now, as you can see in the Rogue Valley, things are gonna get hot and they're gonna stay hot. Once we hit that 100 degree mark around one or two o'clock, we're gonna stay there pretty much throughout the rest of the day. Only getting below that by around 8 p.m. It's going to be very warm pretty much all day. And then taking a look at that smoke forecast as well, you can kind of see a little bit of what I'm talking about. That smoke's not going to be super dense in a lot of spots, but it's going to be pretty widespread. But then as we get overnight and those winds kind of calm down a little bit, it'll start to get a lot more dense. But then once we get into the afternoon and evening, it'll start to get a little bit more thin as the wind kind of spreads it out. We also do have that excessive heat warning and heat advisory in place across much of our area. We also do have a red flag warning in place in Klamath County and in Del Norte County as well. Certainly something to keep an eye out for. And taking a look at the pinpoint forecast, really not much in the way of cloud cover. We're seeing a couple spotty showers here and there in the afternoons. Overnight, we might see a little bit more activity in terms of showers potentially some thunderstorms as well, but I'm expecting those to be mostly lightning rather than actual showers. But jumping into that temperature trend as well, you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about with that cool down that we're gonna see throughout the end of the week, potentially getting below average in terms of seasonal temperatures by Sunday. Then that eight to 14 day outlook, Medford trending very much on the hotter side, but also on the wetter side, that precipitation could come in the form of some thunderstorms. Now getting into that seven day forecast, like I said, we are going to be fairly close to those record breaking temperatures over the next couple days and those breezy winds are going to pick up as well. Slight chance of thunderstorms on your Thursday and then we're going to cool down pretty significantly through the weekend and into next week and down into the mid 80s by your Monday. Klamath Falls, we got that chance of storms and that's going to be sticking around through the weekend. We're going to be cooling down pretty significantly even to the upper 70s by your Monday and those lows are going to get down into the 40s as well. Northern California things staying pretty hot for the next couple days and those storms are going to stick around through the weekend. Getting into the mid 80s by your Monday and then out on the coast things staying a whole lot calmer. Those winds are going to pick up pretty significantly on Friday though potentially getting into that 30 mile an hour range in terms of wind gusts. 
But other than that, things staying pretty calm overall.